The whole situation with Phase Jarvis is fucking retarded. There, I said it. I said it and I fucking mean it because the whole situation just from the beginning was just all really dumb. It was really stupid. I don't understand why it got all, you know, significant and important to some people, but for some reason it did and it's really goddamn annoying that people still talk about it and that he made a video recently and I found it really goddamn stupid again and just I I, I can't stand it. And if, for those of you who don't know the situation for some reason, somehow, there's a kid, he's a part of FaZe Clan, his name is Jarvis, and he had made a video on his channel, Yara re-uploads the video if you want to go and look for it, um, it's pretty easy to find to be completely honest, and uh, it was basically just him playing Fortnite Battle Royale, as he does on his channel, he's pretty infamous for that, he's even pretty infamous for being the best controller player uh, and even puts that in his tags so that pretty much shows uh his ego a little bit there uh <laughs> um and he was playing fortnite battle royale as he as he does and he for somehow got hacks and cheats for the game from some random guy he says it in the video the deleted video that you could find um and just somehow he gets hacks and then he hacks and he's starting to play public games on Fortnite, and then he gets caught he gets caught he gets permit banned and then it ends up being talked about from all different people all over twitter and even keemstar i think reported about it as well and it only really started to get more attention when he made a video saying i've been banned from Fortnite. i'm sorry he made a like a six half a six and a half minute video for what he was what he was talking about for what happened and i thought the video was fucking stupid because it's basically just him consistent of crying for six and a half minutes so basically wasting my goddamn time and the reason why I say he's crying is because you probably already saw it in the thumbnail. He's literally crying about being permanently banned in the goddamn video game, which he already knew he was going to get banned for anyways. And I would love to show you the clip, but if there weren't already other people getting shown off that they were being, their videos were taken, were getting taken down. As I'm, that's what I meant to say before I was about to say something else. People's videos are getting taken down because they show off, you know, little bits and pieces of whatever video they they show from, you know, his channel. And it's full screen. It's his network. For some reason, they're taking people's videos down. And even though I could probably find a workaround on how to show you footage, I'd rather not risk it because why even bother? The situation doesn't even really call for it. But... Um, if you don't believe me that people's videos are getting taken down, you know, YouTube channel Griffin Gaming got his video taken down, and literally if he wanted to dispute it, he basically had to get, he had to dox himself in order to be able to do it, so that's ridiculous. The video is back up, I actually took to see if the video was back up, and it is, so if you haven't seen his video, go ahead and check it out, and, you know, check out his other videos, he's actually pretty entertaining compared to our little friend Jarvis here, who's the little brother of face k and face k is also terrible so subscribe to someone who's better <laughs> um i just thought it was stupid you know he got permanently banned for cheating in a video game which he already knew it was going to be wrong he already knew it was wrong he already knew he was going to get caught and yet he made this video you know talking about it saying that he's sorry and we already know that he's not sorry because he did it he, he's sorry because he got caught so why does it fucking matter because he's he's an influencer because he has 2.16 million subscribers on YouTube because he has a certain amount of followers on Twitter and he's so important and that the rules should be bent specifically for him because he's a part of phase because he's an influencer and blah 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 and just it doesn't fucking matter and it's so stupid and it's just basically him manipulating in his video saying that he got banned to just have some executive over at Epic Games to feel bad for him and then unban his account, which he was using to hack. And it was really dumb because he keeps saying in the other video, the video that he had deleted, the deleted video of him hacking, you know, and showing evidence that he was cheating, he kept saying it was an alternate account. It was an alternate account that he was using on, and he made it specifically just to show off the cheats. So my whole question here is, if he was using an alternate account to cheat in Fortnite, what is the big fucking deal? Just go and use whatever your main account is. Go and make a new fucking account. Like, why does it matter that this one particular account got fucking hacked? Not hacked, I'm sorry. Got banned, got permanently banned. And in the video, he also acts like because the one account is permanently banned, he can no longer go and be associated with Fortnite at all or Epic Games at all and be a part of the community at all.
all. He keeps saying that, like, I can no longer be a part of the community. I can't go to events and meet my fans. And I'm just like, fuck off. Like, you already know that you can go to events. You can still make videos about Fortnite. You can still be, you know, invested into what's going on. What does it fucking matter if your one singular account got banned because you cheated? You cheated. You knew cheating was bad. You knew cheating was going to, you know, get the account fucking permanently banned. And yet you still fucking did it anyways. And it's just, it's dumb. It's stupid. And it just, I don't understand where his mindset for it was. It was, it was so stupid. And so after that happened, it's been like a week since that happened. I just ignored it. I ignored it. I basically just didn't want to think about it anymore. I didn't think it was important anymore. So I left it alone. And then I saw another video of his. And the video, I only saw it because... I, th I believe it was actually on trending for a little while, and it was basically, the video says, the future of Phage Jarvis, and the whole video is basically just two and a half minutes of him, you know, again, trying to, you know, guilt people and just, you know, speak, you know, something that's motivational and blah, 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 and it all means fucking nothing, because the beginning of the video starts off with him showing clips of when he was younger with his brothers, and he says, oh, my life changed forever when my parents got me a, a console for Christmas and blah, blah, blah. And he's trying to show, oh, he used to be humble. He used to like sports and he used to like mess around with his brothers and nah. But like, who didn't whenever they had brothers when they were younger? Who fucking cares? And then it shows clips of news media talking about this, talking about the situation. And again, it's supposed to manipulate people to make them feel bad for him because, oh, the media is talking about it. And, and they're you know, just saying this and that and blah, blah, blah. And just who fucking cares what the, whatever the media has to fucking say. They're all stupid anyways. So whatever. I ignored it. And then he starts in you know, the rest of the video. He's saying, oh, I'm going to go and you know spend time with my family and do this and do that. And I, you know, I thank my friends and blah, blah, blah. And I love my friend. Uh, uh, I'm going to hang out with my friends. That's what I meant to say. I'm sorry. I'm going to hang out with my friends. I'm going to hang out with my family. I'm going to, you know, do this, do that. I love my fans and whatever the fuck else he says. And just the entire time I'm sitting here wondering, what is the point of the video? Why did you make it this significantly long? Like, it wasn't that long. It was two and a half minutes, but... It was long enough to where it made me realize it didn't need to be this long. It literally needed to only be like 30 seconds tops. Just him explaining that he's going to take a hiatus and a break on YouTube and just spend time with family and that's it. He could have just literally said that, but no, he had to extend it out even longer to try to basically manipulate the people who are watching, manipulate his fans to you know feel bad for him and keep, you know, tweeting an epic to say like oh you need to unban jarvis and allow him to go to events because i really want to meet him and did and when it doesn't fucking matter you can still go to events he's just not allowed to play on a specific account that's literally it and i don't fucking understand it so that's basically it i just think the whole situation is stupid i don't think it was that serious to begin with i think jarvis himself treated us way more seriously than he should have he tried to manipulate people by fake crying in the first fucking video he made about the situation literally no tears are falling on his face at all he's fake fucking crying and he doesn't edit that shit out so hey, the video is even longer and to manipulate people even more and it's just, it's fucking stupid, and I don't understand why people didn't, you know, tell him in the background, like, hey, maybe you shouldn't do this because you might suffer, you know, consequences for your actions and blah, 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 and no, no one fucking say anything. Part of me kind of feels like maybe FaZe kind of encouraged this because they were, because they're probably in the background saying, oh, this is probably going to be a good video and whatever the fuck else they say, and they'll get a lot of views, they'll make a lot of money, and then whatever the fuck else they say, just... Um, I, just, I don't fucking care about this, but it got so degrading that I just w wanted to say something because Jarvis is a fucking idiot. He's 18 years old. I'm only a year older than this fucking kid, and he still acts like he's fucking nine years old. I don't fucking get it. Just whatever. I don't know. Whatever. I, just, I don't fucking care. That's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed. See you the fuck later. Drop that